What's up, man? I'm Miguel, and welcome back to the channel. So, for today's video, I will be reviewing a very hyped, cheap, sort of clone Latafa Hamra. This fragrance right here. Mm -mm -mm. Damn. Oh, shit. Just damn. It's such a good fragrance, honestly. Amazing fragrance, man. I don't even know where to start. But, like always, I'm gonna do the spray test. And after that, I'm gonna go with the notes and let you know if you should get it or not. So the spray test, we're gonna spray it on the right hand. We're gonna see how the sprayer is. The sprayer is very mediocre, I have to say, man. But the fragrance, ooh, the juice inside, amazing. Let me tell you guys about the notes and I'm gonna talk to you guys about how it smells. The notes you can get inside of this, you get bergamot, cinnamon, nutmeg. There's definitely some type of vanilla, there's praline some type of jasmine inside, dates, I can't forget that, akigala wood, some type of resins and ambers, and that's basically the note breakdown. Very complex note breakdown because there's a lot of notes, but the way it smells is just delicious, gourmand, but also not hard to wear. When you smell this thing on the top, at the top you get a nice cinnamon, a bit of bergamot and there's like some type of nutmeg that's in there that gives it a nice spiciness a bit nutty in a way and then you get accompanied by the cinnamon and the praline with the dates so the dates comes and brings in a slight fruity smell and then you get a nice dose of like woods and ambers that follows through up from the dates so those ambers are some type of resins that are inside make it more ambery more vanillic but in a luxurious way and then there's a bit of woods and vanilla that comes and rounds off the whole thing and this is very nice for the date night the festivities it has that type of cozy smell but also very nice and strong and powerful but not in a cloying way it's powerful in a nice way because it projects far and has really really good sillage so to sum it up top you get a lot of cinnamon, nutmeg, bergamot, mid, that's when you get that praline and a bit of the florals. And then in the base, that's when you start getting that type of woody, ambery vanillaness inside of this fragrance. Now, how is the performance in this fragrance? The performance is very, very, very good, guys. This fragrance right here, Atafa Hamra, you get a nice eight to 12 hours of performance. Yes, you got that right. You heard correct. 8 to 12 hours. These Middle Eastern brands, they don't play when it comes to performance. It's only them European brands. I don't know why. Why did you trying to be so shy? Like, bare people out here having allergies to fragrances. Like, y'all don't want other people to smell good? Like, damn, you know, boost your immune system up a little bit. Why y'all so weak? <laughs> but for real though, the performance is very, very good. I think the biggest part that helps the performance of this fragrance is the sillage. You get a good projection. You get a good sillage for like, I would say six feet distance. And the sillage lasts a long time. You get two to four hours of great sillage. The sillage in this thing is so crazy that one day I was going to school. I was just walking outside the subway, going to my class. And then I smell someone on the way. And this person reminded me of a smell. And I'm like, I know this smell because I recently got something that smells just like it. And that person was wearing hamra and that person was a good four five six feet away from me and it was so strong the sillage it smelled like it was right in front of me but it was just in the air it wasn't type of red tobacco extremely cloying strong taking over the whole room with its smell now nah. this was pleasant very nice but it filled a room in an airy way so that's where the strength comes it's the really good sillage it's not because it has the craziest performance in terms of being loudly filling the room and smelling like you was just sprayed on you and like you know like a skunk type of spray where you know it's everywhere and it's so cloying and strong nah it was not that at all sillage is the number one thing for me in this fragrance because it's great and then don't forget the compliment factors the first time i wore this fragrance i went out i went into the classroom and a woman asked me did you take the subway today because if you did i'm pretty sure people would follow you around I was like, what do you mean by that? She's like, because your fragrance smells so good. And I was like, damn, Hamra, 
ain't no joke. There's a reason why all the discounters have it gone really quickly because it was hyped and it deserves the hype. So guys, if you really want something that smells angel share like, because it's not a clone, this fragrance goes in the same direction with the ambers, the apple smell, but here they use dried fruits with the dates. The boozy smell because of like the resins paired with the cinnamon and also the vanillas kind of has that type of angel share feel, but it's not truly angel share because angel share has oak wood here, it has akigala wood, and it doesn't bring out the same type of woodiness that it has inside of angel share. And angel share has more of that green apple smell with booziness. This is more praline dominant cinnamon with a bit of resins and vanilla. So that's where the differences come when you compare the two. But the performance is great. The scent for me is a 10 out of 10. The only thing I can fault this fragrance for is that the sprayer is crap. But let's think about it as well, because if the sprayer was really good, this might have been too powerful and like, you know, maybe three sprays is all you would need. Even though it is pretty powerful, I still want to have a better sprayer because a sprayer is very important. It will spread it out better on your skin and your clothing and it'll just last longer in a way. But yeah, the fragrance itself, amazing. My overall rating, I'm going to give it a 9.5. I'm deducting points for the sprayer. So Latafa, if you're gonna make a part two of this, I already heard this one called Latafa Kamra Kawa Kalha Kawha. I forgot. There's a new one that they made of the Kamra line. They're gonna, you know, milk it. I'm gonna put a picture of it here, and hopefully, <laughs> you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. But yes, they're definitely making a second one. But I hope that the next version of Kamra is gonna have a better sprayer. Because to me, that's the biggest fault I see in this fragrance. Besides that, great for the date time. I could think of this as a nice signature for winter and fall. It smells amazing. If you're going to be doing type of holiday stuff, you know, some people had Thanksgiving, then Christmas times, New Year's, put this on. Everybody going to want to hug you. Everybody going to be talking about how good you smell. Because this fragrance is going to get you the compliments. It's going to last long and you're going to feel great. And it doesn't break the bank because you can get this for 45 50 bucks if you guys take all of those black friday cyber monday deals as well you're gonna have great opportunities to get this fragrance for cheaper so that's my review guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it press a like comment down below what else you guys would like to see and please do subscribe because it really does help have a great day night and or evening you can't see me <laughs> you're just ruining it you're look at my lips, you're ruining it. Adios.